Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. So when you have a problem that says something like this, draw a Venn diagram and use the given information to fill in the number of elements in each region, they're going to consider each of these facts as a piece of the puzzle and you have to use those facts and fill in the spaces at one at a time. So you're going to need to identify which regions they're describing with each set operation. First, let's go ahead and number the regions. So the number of elements in the set A, the whole circle, which regions then are going to contain these 15 elements? One, two, three, and four. That's right. We don't know how it's distributed amongst them, though. So we move on to the next fact. The next fact is A intersect B intersect C has four elements. Which region or regions is that describing? That's region one here. And we're being told that region one has four elements. Anytime you have a fact that tells you about a single region, fill it in. That's a piece of the puzzle. That's like finding a corner piece on a, <laughs> on a jigsaw puzzle, okay? Now we're going to cross that off. We've used that fact because I've put the four on the diagram. And we're going to go to the next fact on my list. A intersects C equals 12. So you tell me, when I say the number of elements in A intersects C equals 12, which region or regions am I describing? One and four. Roman numeral one and Roman numeral four. Would you agree with that? Now, that doesn't describe only a single region, but out of the regions one and four, there's only one we don't know, right? We know region one had four elements in it. So then how can we use that to figure out region four then? So the number in region four has to be 12 minus the four we already placed equals eight. So I'm going to put eight down here, right? And I am going to cross off this guy. We've used this to get, we know region one and region four, and we've placed this already. Now let's go to the next fact. The next fact is the number in A intersect B complement equals nine. That's this fact up here. The number in A intersect B complement equals nine. Okay, in words, what does that mean? The number that are in A and, because intersect, and, and not in B. All right, so which region or regions are we looking at if we're talking about things that are in A and not in B? In A and not in B. Okay, three is in A and not in B. I agree with that. Three is definitely in there. And not in B. What is in, what else is in A but not in B? Four, okay. Now of those, we know region four, right? So how can we use this fact to get the remaining region three? The nine minus the eight that were in region four would be one left. So there's one that goes in this box over here in region three. The number in three and four was given to us. That's this piece here, see? And we didn't know that about that there was only one in region three, but we did know there were eight in region four, and we know that in the yellow altogether, regions three and four, we had nine. So there was only one left that had not been placed. So you always end up subtracting the piece that you already know from the larger piece. Okay, what's, let's see, I'm gonna cross these off because we've already used them. And we're gonna move to the next fact. The number that are in B intersect C is nine. Okay, don't say it out loud, but <laughs> at your desk, try and figure out what region is rep or regions are represented by B intersect C. Does everybody have, everybody have something in their head? For which regions? Okay, which regions do you think are represented by B intersect C? One and six, very good. One and six. Okay, which of those two do we already know? Region one has four, right? So then there must be nine minus four equals five that are left for region six. So I'm gonna put five over here in the box. See how now that B intersect C, let me color it in, B intersect C would be this 
football shaped region here. It's supposed to have nine in it altogether. We already knew there were four in the middle, so that leaves only five left to be in that other piece. Okay, <clears throat> cross that one off, we've used it. Some, the reason why I'm crossing them off is sometimes you have to skip them and come back. Like I skipped the number and A is 15 up there. We're gonna come back to that later. The next fact that we need to look at is a weird one. The number that are in A complement intersect B complement intersect C complement. Now the word way of understanding set operations can be really helpful here. So instead of thinking of it as A complement intersect B complement intersect C complement, what we're looking for is the number that are not in A and simultaneously not in A and not in B and not in C. So what region or regions is that describing that are not in A and they're not in B and they're not in C? All of those have to be true. Eight, very good. Eight is the only region that is not in any of those sets, right? Because not in A, not in B, and not in C is just this outside part. It's not in any of them. So that's region eight. So we just figured out that there are 19 elements in region eight, okay? So we used that fact. All right, now the next fact that we haven't used is the number in B intersect C complement. The number in B intersect C complement is five. All right, so describe for me in words other than intersect and complement. How can you describe what they're telling us there? Yeah, the number that are in B and not C. It has to satisfy both characteristics. B, it has to be in B, and it has to not be in C. Which region or regions satisfy that? Okay, two is in B but not C, yep, and five is also in B. So regions two and five together have five elements. Do we know either of those sets? All either of those regions, two or five yet? No, so we can't use that fact yet. So we're gonna move on to the next one. You have to know all but, but one of the regions in order to use the fact. So we're not ready to use that fact yet. We'll come back to it. All right, now how about the number that are in B union C equals 35? This is the last fact that they gave us. B union C is everything that's either in B or in C or in both. Union includes everything. So that's gonna be a bunch of regions. Everything's in B, which is one and two and five and six together with everything that's in C. We already got the one and the six, but we need the four and the seven. Whew. And there are a bunch of those we don't know. So we're not gonna use that fact now. So let's go back up now. We've gone through all the facts we could use the first time through. Let's go back to the top and see if we can use the number in A is 15, okay? We can use this fact up here if we know all the regions but one. Do we know how many are in region one? Yeah, four. How many are in region two? No, we don't know that. Do we know how many are in region three? One. Do we know how many are in region four? Eight. So we know all but one missing piece, right? So that must mean that four plus one plus eight plus this unknown in region two adds up to what? 15, yeah. So this is, what's four plus one? plus eight. 13 plus some unknown number equals 15. So what must that unknown number be? Two. Two. So we now figured out that the number in region two is two, coincidentally. Okay, we can now cross off that fact. We've used it. And now let's go back down and see if anything has changed with these two remaining facts down here. Are there either of them that we now can use easily? These are the two facts to which I refer. Are there any either of these that we can now use? The first one, right? Because we know region two has two in it. So that must mean that region five has, five minus two is three in it, right? So I'm gonna put a three in region five here. Oh, look, we're so close to done. We have everything except what? Region seven, which is part of C, yes. I've, we've, and we've also used every fact except for one. 
So let's go to that last fact, B union C equals 35. And let's see what we know. We know region one had four. We know region two had two. We know region five, three. Okay, do we know region six? Five. Region four has eight. So the only one we don't know is region seven. So how can we get region seven? Add them all up and subtract from 35. So let's see, what do these all add up? Six, nine, 14, 22. 22 plus question mark, check my arithmetic, equals 35. So yes, there's gonna be 13, 13 in that last region here. Okay, it's like a little puzzle. So now I'm going to have you guys get in your groups and work one. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.